Anna Likovic, a former model and social media star. If you followed her on Instagram, you'd think her life was great, poolside photos, expensive cars, high-end fashion, and all the other common influencer tropes filled her feed portraying a glamorous lifestyle. But behind the scenes, Anna was hiding some big secrets from her mother, and when they came to light, it led to Anna being charged with something most people would not believe is possible. Welcome to Criminals and Kittens, a brand new true crime series hosted by me, where I take a deep dive into some of the most fascinating, unbelievable true crime stories from around the world and present them to you with a fun twist. In this series, you will not only hear about crazy crime stories that actually happened, but you will also meet some really cute kittens. Today, I am at the Calgary Humane Society with these kittens to present to you this brutal story of Anna and her mother. This is exactly the kind of story that will truly open your eyes to how dangerous and crazy the world we live in is, and it'll make you think twice about who you are following on social media, because they may not be exactly who you think they are. Without further delay, let's get into the story of Anna Likovic, the Instagram model with a big secret. If you are watching this video right now, chances are you have a handful of social media apps on your phone that you use on a regular basis, whether it be Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, or Instagram. Instagram can provide glamour, fame, and fortune to those who are successful on it. One of the people that wanted this fame more than anything else was 21-year-old Anna Likovic, a woman from the Eastern European country of Moldova. If you were to take a look at Anna's Instagram page, which has now been removed, you wouldn't think anything was out of the ordinary. By all accounts, her page looked like any other Instagram models, with photos and videos of her gaining traction and getting plenty of likes. Gaining success on Instagram, especially for someone as young as Anna, is undoubtedly a good feeling for many. As well, it was what she wanted to achieve as far back as she could remember. But in order to get a full grasp on how Anna became an Instagram model, let's take it back to her early days. Anna Likovic was born in 1999 to her mother Praskova Likovic. Although there is not much known about her home life, from when she was a young child, it is believed that Anna led the life of a typical girl growing up in the early 2000s until the late 2010s. Much like plenty of kids out there in the world, when you're a kid, you often hate getting asked what you want to do when you grow up because you're still so young and you have your whole life ahead of you. Who knows what you want to spend the rest of your life doing? However, along with being successful on Instagram, Anna had aspirations to work within the medical field for most of her life. To this day, no details have been uncovered as to what exactly she was studying in the medical field, but she did eventually get into medical school in Russia and was studying hard to get her degree. Although Anna had grown up without having a father or even a father figure in her life, it certainly seemed as though she had a good life that was full of hopes, dreams, and ambitions, much like any other young adult has. During this time, Anna would take notice of model pages on Instagram, and out of her admirations, something clicked within her. Anna then decided to make an account herself, in which she frequently uploaded photos and videos of herself posing in various different fashionable outfits, which drew lots of attention. She even posted the occasional travel photo as well, posing in various places within Europe, including in front of the Eiffel Tower and in front of luxury stores that many people dream of going to, such as Gucci and Prada. This showcased to her followers that she was not messing around when it came to her modeling ambitions. A handful of other photos that have been retrieved from her account include photos of her at parties, smiling with friends. These people surely had no idea what their close and seemingly trustworthy friend was truly capable of deep down inside. Social media is definitely a tricky gig and it takes many content creators ages to get their posts in the public eye before they start to even get a little bit of internet fame. Some get lucky and manage to rack up a huge amount of followers and likes without having to work too hard at it, whereas others have to continuously tweak their profiles, hashtags, and photo quality to find followers. It seems as though Anna had immense luck by following her own path and found success on the platform relatively quickly. By doing a Google search, you won't be able to find out exactly when Anna started to model for her Instagram account. 
but chances are it was in the past few years, and over that time Anna amassed a follower count of approximately 10,000, which is a number most on the platform these days can only dream of. What do you do with the knowledge that so many people are fans of your account, and more specifically you? People didn't follow Anna on Instagram because they simply felt like it. They followed her because they liked her for who she was, seeing photos of her on vacation or posing in front of high-end fashion shops garnered the attention of thousands of people, and Anna was well on her way to becoming fairly successful on the platform perhaps not too far away from gaining much more followers than she could dream of. However, her success was short-lived. Although Anna continued to post on Instagram for her 10,000 followers on a regular basis, things were starting to get dark in Anna's life. She began experimenting with drugs and she was likely suffering from severe depression. During her peak as a model on social media, Anna began to use an undisclosed amount of drugs and to this day, only Anna's mother knows exactly what kind of substance she frequently took. It must not have been anything light because Anna's mother was less than pleased with her daughter's frequent substance abuse. Anna's mother, Preskova, was about to leave to go on a trip to Germany, but she had been getting suspicious about her daughter because Anna was starting to display erratic behavior and lashing out at her something that she had never done before. It is said that growing up, Anna and Praskova were actually quite close and spent lots of times doing things together. To be fair, any parents would be concerned if they found out their own child had a substance abuse problem, and Praskova was no exception to the rule. There are many shows on television focused around trying to help individuals who are struggling from substance abuse to ensure that they get the help they desperately need before things get too out of hand. Shows like Dr. Phil try to help those who are battling with substance use to get the support they need. Shows like Intervention do whatever they can to help individuals get treatment before they inevitably pass away from substance abuse. Anna's mother, Preskova, was not necessarily angry with her daughter but rather concerned, upset, disappointed, and above all else, scared. Although she was feeling these emotions, more than anything else, she just wanted her daughter to stop taking drugs and find help. Any parent's worst nightmare is having to bury their own child. It's simply not the way things are meant to be. Kids are supposed to outlive their parents, not the other way around. It's genuinely hard to imagine what it would be like if you were in that position and Praskova did not want to find out for herself, so she did whatever she could to ensure that her daughter was taken care of and found help before things got out of hand. Sadly for Praskova, things were not as easy as sitting down and having a talk with Anna. Praskova was on a trip to Germany for unknown reasons, and it is believed that during her time away from home was when she found out that her daughter was using substances. She planned on having a proper sit-down conversation with Anna when she got back home from Germany. Upon her arrival home, Preskova did exactly that. She sat down with her daughter to try to convince her to stop using drugs. While she was talking to Anna about her substance abuse, the young woman became infuriated with her mother about having to talk about this topic. She thought that it wasn't her mother's place to intervene with her activities, and as is often the case, it's not as simple as sitting down and telling them to stop. It takes much, much more. But luckily, Preskova was one step ahead of her daughter. At this point, the two got into what sounds like a massive argument, which was when Preskova admitted to Anna that she had already made arrangements for her to get flown out for treatment. Unfortunately, this just made Anna even angrier. The two got into a big shouting match. But what happened next most definitely took Praskova by complete surprise as well as the rest of the world. Judging by her various Instagram photos and her personality online, which looked to be a fun-loving type, nobody would be able to guess what Anna was capable of. Anna appeared to be a typical young adult with big dreams and ambitions, but on that day, they would all get dashed. Kraskova talking to her daughter about her substance abuse and already arranging for treatment angered Anna to the point of no return, 
and what she did next shocked the world. This made people open their eyes and shook their trust in who they follow on social media and for good reason. It is said that at some point during the mother and daughter's argument, Anna stormed out of the room only to come back wielding a knife, more than likely shocked at her daughter's sudden act of rage. Preskova prepared to defend her life, but no preparation could have stopped Anna in her rage. She allegedly stabbed her mother repeatedly with the kitchen knife and left her on the floor for an undetermined amount of time. If something like this were to ever happen to you, you would hope that your death would be immediate so that you wouldn't have to suffer the pain and agony of blood loss and the many knife-inflicted wounds. Sadly, Praskova was not so lucky. She laid on the floor bleeding out for an unknown amount of time, suffering from the blood loss at a rapid rate. Dying from this would already be a terrible thing and it's a fate that nobody wants to suffer. But what happened next is without a doubt the most twisted thing of all. Allegedly, Anna had already stabbed her mother and left her bleeding out with little hope of survival. But she was not quite done with her mother yet. After a few minutes had gone by, Anna decided to walk over to her dying mother and proceeded to carve out her intestines, pulling them out of her body. If that isn't sickening and absolutely brutal enough, the young woman then pulled her own mother's heart straight out of her chest. Now, of course, when this story made headlines, millions of people from around the world were absolutely shocked and couldn't understand how somebody could not only stab their own mother in such a horrific way, but then cut out their intestines and heart. Keep in mind, Preskova confronted Anna about her alleged substance use. The mother and daughter were allegedly remarkably close and didn't get into arguments very often at all. Because of this, the story has made people wonder how this seemingly innocent and fun-loving girl had so much rage and fury within her that she could be capable of committing such a heinous and unthinkable act let alone to her mother, the person that she had been close to her entire life. Usually when somebody commits murder or some other seriously horrific crime, the perpetrator will start to feel guilty and remorseful almost immediately, with some even breaking down and crying or losing their composure, no matter how hard they try to maintain themselves. However, Anna Likovic did something much more chilling and bizarre. Now that her mother lay dead inside the home, Anna proceeded to walk inside to the shower and rinse herself off without a single care in the world. To this day, it's debated whether or not Anna recognized the full severity of her actions due to her complete lack of emotion during this whole incident or whether she is just evil or insane. There are solid arguments on both sides, making it an interesting debate for anybody who takes part. On one hand, you could say that Anna was too young and naive to understand that she just took a life, her mother's for that matter, and the consequences of her actions did not sink in as they would if she was older or more mature. She could have also been in shock, not recognizing the severity of her actions. But on the other hand, you could say that she is purely evil or insane, because after all, how do you not only murder your own mother and rip out her internal organs like they're nothing, and then take a shower all while showing no emotion? Whichever way you look at it, it's clear that Anna is not the innocent Instagram model that she led her 10,000 followers to believe. After Anna was finished taking her shower and allegedly rinsing all remains of her mother's blood off of her face and body, she displayed even more signs of not recognizing the severity of her actions. Because afterward, she phoned up her boyfriend and decided to meet with him afterward and spend the day together, like it was just some regular day with nothing exciting going on. Even today, it is not known if Anna had told her unnamed boyfriend about the murder she allegedly committed that day. But even if she hadn't, there's no way the boyfriend does not know about the brutal crime nowadays. It definitely makes you wonder though, if Anna did tell her boyfriend she murdered her mother, what would he do? You may think that he obviously would call the police or break up with her, but our world is so insanely crazy and full of evil people that it's not hard to wonder if he was okay with Anna's actions. With a crime this heinous being committed by someone who initially came across as an innocent young woman, you would certainly hope that police officers or other emergency respondents would somehow hear about Preskova's murder as soon as possible, but that's not necessarily the case. The police arrived at the Likovic house two full hours later and were shocked at the discovery that they made. 
the lifeless body of Preskova Likovic, whose internal organs had been removed and who had stab wounds surrounding her chest. However, it did not take the police long at all to suspect that the person who had murdered Preskova was her own daughter, Anna, because all the evidence was there, laid out in front of them, and they had all the information they needed to go ahead and follow through with an arrest. When they were asked questions by various different newspapers and publications, the police said they had no other suspect on their list and that they are positive that Anna was the one who committed the murder. It's genuinely fascinating to think about how far police DNA technology has come, because if this exact crime had happened several decades ago, there's honestly no telling whether or not the police would have figured out the culprit was Anna so quickly. From this point on, Details are definitely scarce as to how they tracked Anna down so fast and whether or not she was willing to cooperate with the police, but nothing has come out to suggest otherwise. Upon charging Anna based on their suspicions that she was the one who murdered Preskova, she was scheduled to appear in court in December of 2020. She did appear, but if any of the courtroom officials were expecting Anna to show remorse or look sad while in the building, they were gravely mistaken. Upon arriving at the courtroom, Anna almost immediately started to display some seriously questionable behavior that gave off some big red flags right from the start. If you are truly innocent of the crimes you are being accused of committing, Committing, it would be a no-brainer to show up in court and act mature and try your best to tell your side of the story. Court hearings are obviously an incredibly stressful time for people who are both guilty and innocent because your life is quite literally in the hands of the jury and the judge. They are the people who will ultimately have the final say as to whether or not you will be sent to jail or walk out the door as an innocent person. And depending on the crime you've committed, if guilty, you can spend the rest of your life in confinement. A crime like this would surely land somebody in prison for life. All it takes is a quick watch of crime shows on television to see that even those who are guilty of crimes try to persuade the judge to see their side of the story and convince them that they are innocent. However, Anna could not be bothered with any of that. While she was in court, she was seen playing around with her nails and keeping her head bowed down, almost as if she did not want to make direct eye contact with anybody in the room. Could this be a sign that perhaps she finally understands that there is no way she is going to get out of this sticky situation. It is entirely possible, although some could argue that perhaps she was simply bored and did not want to be in court, especially since some hearings can go on for a number of hours. Playing with your nails in court is already a bad look, as it shows the judge and the other individuals who are watching that you are nervous and as a result, people may wonder why you'd be nervous unless you've committed the crime. But Anna's strange and questionable behavior did not stop at just that. She was occasionally seen giggling while sitting down in the courtroom chairs and at one point, a reporter proceeded to ask Anna if she really did do the horrific things that happened to her mother and Anna did something that nobody could have predicted. Instead of simply answering the question, Anna proceeded to laugh in an extremely creepy manner and then say goodbye as she left the courthouse. Unfortunately, it is a little bit difficult to find a lot of courtroom footage from when Anna was in attendance, but it is safe to say that the judge and the other officials in the courtroom were more than likely a bit creeped out by Anna's erratic behavior. Most people that commit crimes such as this one will do their best to get out of it, or maybe even justify their actions, but not Anna. Hearing what she did well in court, it almost seems as though she had accepted her fate and is borderline proud of what she did. I feel the need to re-mention that Anna and her mother Praskova actually had a strong relationship with one another and were very close when Anna was just a child and through most of Anna's life. The uncle of the family, who has not been named, said that the Likovic family was incredibly loving and everybody got along perfectly fine. And when he heard about the brutal crime that Anna had been accused of, he was shocked and couldn't believe what he was hearing. Imagine getting informed that one of your relatives had just been murdered, and no more than by another one of your relatives, the grief and pain that it would inevitably cause would be more irreparable, no matter how many years the culprit got locked up in prison for. Now this story has been quite disturbing so far, to say the least. So before we get into the fates of Anna Likovic, let's lighten the mood with 10 interesting facts about kitties. Number 1. The longest cat who has ever lived was named Cream Puff from Austin, Texas, who managed to live to the incredible age of 38 years and 3 days old. Number 2. Cats have the unique ability to heal themselves simply by purring. 
domestic cats in particular purr at frequencies between 25 and 150 hertz, which happens to be the frequency where bones and muscles can grow best and repair. Number 3. You may have seen photos of cats drinking milk before, but surprisingly enough, they are actually lactose intolerant and should avoid it if possible. Number 4. A cat's cerebral cortex contains about twice as many neurons as that of dogs. Cats have 300 million neurons, while dogs have only about 160 million. Number 5. Sir Isaac Newton has been credited with designing the pet door that millions of cats around the world use to enter homes. If you have a cat, you more than likely have one of these. Number 6. If you ever see a group of cats together, that's actually known as a clouder. Number 7. Although cats have two eyes much like us humans, they surprisingly have three eyelids. Number 8. Cats actually have dreams just like us. They start dreaming when they reach a week old. Number 9. Cats have 24 more bones than humans do. And lastly, number 10. In ancient Egypt, when an individual's house cat passed away, the owner would shave their eyebrows to reflect their grief. Now back to the story. Trials and sentencing can oftentimes be a scary and nerve-wracking process for all parties and individuals involved for a large number of reasons. For one, the person that is suspected of committing the crime in question would most likely be the most nervous among them all because they are the person who may or may not be getting sent to jail. Obviously, if you committed an extremely terrible crime such as murder, chances are you're probably going to be sent to prison for a long time if not for the rest of your life, depending on the incident and also what country you are from. It would also be a long and tumultuous process for the families of the person who was murdered because their own loved one was taken taken from them not only too soon but at the hands of another human being. As their surviving family, you hope that the person accused of committing the crime gets sent to prison for the rest of their life, so while you're in the courtroom, you definitely feel a ton of nerves as you pray the judge makes the correct decision. Sometimes, however, families are absolutely shattered in some instances when judges find the person not guilty or maybe they just don't sentence them for as long as the family hoped for. Another aspect, if there is a jury, they must ensure that they agree upon the same verdict or else it will delay the sentencing even further. The jury arguably has one of the most important roles in any trial because they are responsible for determining whether or not the person accused of the crimes is guilty or not, but the most important role in a courtroom is undoubtedly the judge because they are the ones who are responsible for sentencing the guilty individual and determining the amount of time they will be in confinement for. Trials are supposed to be done as quick as possible in order to get things moving, so sentencing can be doled out, making sure that no party has to wait an extensive period of time to finish the trial, especially the grieving family trying to find at least a sliver of peace. At the time of making this video, Anna Likovic has not been sentenced yet, which is definitely disheartening considering the aspiring Instagram model was accused of committing the crime and appeared in court in December of 2020. So it has definitely been a lengthy period of time since this whole incident occurred, yet for whatever reason, nothing has happened in the case. Researching the trial, it is difficult to find any explanation as to why Anna has not been sentenced or why the trial has not been moved forward since December, and no official statement has been made by Moldova courts. Police spokeswoman Lubov Yannick said, the detainee is the main suspect. There is no likelihood of other suspects. However, there is one piece of information that has been released that is definitely one of the most infuriating things you will hear in a long time. As I mentioned earlier, depending on what country you are in and depending on certain circumstances in the crime, the person who is accused of committing a crime may not be sentenced for the same amount of time as other individuals. It all depends on a variety of circumstances, but undoubtedly murder charges lead to huge sentences is, and you more than likely have to spend the rest of your life behind bars for committing such an unthinkable crime. I'm sure the surviving members of the Likovic family are hoping that Anna gets sent to prison for an extremely long time, if not for life, for taking the life of the very woman that gave birth to her. Unfortunately, they are not going to get their wish. The judge that is overseeing the case has stated that Anna is not going to receive life in prison and that news alone is definitely quite upsetting to hear. Keep in mind, this is an individual who is accused of not only stabbing her mother several times in a fury of rage, 
but also proceeded to rip out her internal organs such as her intestines and heart. After that, she showered, went to her boyfriend's house and acted as if she did nothing wrong. And in court, as mentioned, she was seen laughing, implicating that she was not taking this case seriously whatsoever. But although she will not get life in prison, you would hope that she would at least get sentenced to prison for several decades at the bare minimum. That way, the punishment seems at least semi-fair and justice can be properly served. But that is not going to happen either. The judge that is overseeing the trial shocked almost everybody when he announced that if Anna does get convicted of the murder, she is only going to receive a sentence of 13 years in prison. In Moldova, judges are not allowed to sentence a woman to life in prison no matter what crime they are accused of committing is. Naturally, when the judge announced the extremely short prison sentence that could be doled out if she is found guilty, people on the internet did not take too lightly to it, with many calling for laws in Moldova to be changed. Something else that is genuinely crazy and completely sickening to think about is the fact that, after Anna was accused of this crime, for some reason, she gained an additional two to 3,000 followers on her Instagram modeling page. This of course begs the question, why would so many people want to follow a woman who is accused of killing her own mother and ripping out her heart and internal organs? Do these two to 3,000 people genuinely believe that Anna is innocent? and their following her is their way to show support to her? Or did they follow her simply because they just felt like it and wanted to see if her account would ever have any updates made to it? I'm hoping for the latter because I don't want to believe that so many people would willingly follow somebody who is accused of murder. The sad thing about this whole situation too is that if Anna had not committed the insane atrocities that she is accused of, who knows what kind of bright future may have been awaiting her? Because she had over 10,000 followers on her Instagram account before committing the crime, she was definitely well on her way to finding at least a moderate amount of success on the platform. But much like any career, the longer and harder you work at it, the more chances of success you will have. And it seems like Anna had no problem gaining followers on Instagram. Posing in front of various stops throughout Europe, it is obvious that Anna most definitely wanted to find a career in modeling as it was her number one passion above anything else and she uploaded photos to her modeling page whenever she had new photos to share with the world, which was quite often. And because Anna is only 21 years old, she literally did have her entire future ahead of her. 21 is such an incredibly young age and you have so much time on earth to accomplish a lot of things and achieve as many goals as you can before you eventually settle down in the later years of your life. But Anna is more than likely going to find herself in 13 years of retirement if she does get convicted. Hearing about this case, you just can't help but feel like this whole modeling career went to waste because it is possible that Anna could have found plenty of success through her ambitions and she more than likely could have made a bit of money on the platform had she kept growing her following over the next couple of years. Once you get past 10,000 followers, you will find it much easier to gain success now that you already have a lot of people following your page. They more than likely share your profile around, thus resulting in even more followers followers, but Anna went ahead and did something that would ruin her chances of ever becoming a model no matter what. But I do have to mention how incredibly important it is to keep in mind that Anna has not been officially convicted guilty of the crimes she is accused of committing. So as of recording this video, she is technically innocent but the chances of her actually being the one that killed Preskova Likovic is extremely high. Unfortunately, if you are watching this video at the time of its upload date, Anna Likovic has still not been found guilty, which is obviously leaving people to wonder when exactly the trial is going to resume. Sadly, as of now, no information can be found about the case's updates, but we can only hope that it will resume as soon as possible. In the meantime, however, we can all try our best to come up with possible motives as to why Anna, a young woman, woman who is allegedly so close to her mother would be the person who would end up taking her life. At the time of this recording, Anna Likovic is currently being treated in a psychiatric ward and has been in there ever since December after her trial. And as mentioned before, there is no word to whether she will reappear in court details of her stay in the psychiatric ward have not been made public, but it is more than likely a horrific experience for many. However, for somebody like Anna who is most likely crazy, it might offer the help she needs. Some people who are accused of a crime will try their best to act insane so they can be sent off to a mental institution because they feel as though if that happens to them, they won't get as harsh of treatment as they would if they were sent off to a traditional prison, but that is simply not the case at all. Some people that have 
successfully tricked police and court officials into believing that they are insane and got sent off to these institutions have come out worse than they did when they were transported there in the first place. This is because the psychological toll of being around other legitimately insane individuals is incredibly intense. And if you are not as crazy as you say you were before going to the institution, you certainly will be upon leaving. And Anna's stay at the psychiatric ward comes with some very notable concerns. As we speak, she is still getting evaluated at the ward, which the name of has not been officially disclosed, so we don't know a whole lot of details regarding the treatment she is getting there. However, if Anna does get found to have an unstable state of mind, then the sentence of 13 years in prison will be reduced even lower. Although the exact number it can get lowered to has not been disclosed, even the thought and possibility that Anna won't have to serve that long of a prison sentence is absolutely baffling. This story is definitely one of the most chilling things I have come across in quite some time and really opened my eyes as to how some people are not as they seem. Anna looked like your average Instagram model that you may follow and not think twice about, only to show her true colors in the most vicious and shocking way possible. It may be difficult to believe that such an innocent looking individual could commit such an atrocious crime, but after all, the world has a strange way of showing us who people truly are, and unfortunately, we all had to find out the hard way who Anna Likovic truly is. 